Hello and welcome to this crochet tutorial on how to make this circular bag with the heart in the center. Here I will take you step by step on how to add the straps, the sides, the front, and the back. So let's get started on making this our heart circle handbag. Come on, let's go. The materials and tools that we will be using to make this heart insert purse. Here I have from Red Heart With Love Metallic and this color is called Rose. This is some red yarn that I have. It is from Red Heart and I don't know the actual color but it is a red color the name for it, I'm, what I meant to say. Here I have a large eye tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and a hook 5.00 millimeter. Before we begin our project with the heart with, and using the red yarn, I'm encouraging you to pull out an ample amount of yarn from your skein so that you can help maintain the proper tension. Sometimes when you pull from the, the center of the skein, which I always use, it can have a tendency to get uh, caught up inside the skein. So let's go ahead and pull some out and let's get started. So to begin, we're going to start with a magic circle. So let's go ahead and wrap it around till we have like a cross. Go underneath the upper part, pull up a loop, and complete as if you were doing a chain stitch. There we go. Unloosen your tail. It's always cumbersome for me. A lot of people can do this with no problem at all. Let's go ahead and chain three. This will count as a double crochet. Into our magic circle, we're going to add 11 double crochets. So to make a double crochet, place your finger on your loop, yarn over, take your hook and go inside the circle and pull up a loop, yarn over bring it through two loops off the hook, yarn over through the last two loops. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again. Continue around until you have added 11 double crochets and count the chain three as a double crochet for a total of 12. Please pause your video. After placing and counting to verify that you have 12 on your magic circle, let's pull with our tail. Place your finger and thumb on the end of your stitching. We'll pull that so we can close our circle. Do not cut your tail. Let it hang down. It'll be fine. Then we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Okay, let's move on to our second row. Chain two, and using only these front loops, you'll notice that we have a, a back loop and a front loop. We're only going to be using the front loops. We're going to place one double crochet in each stitch around. Okay. So yarn over and see how we're picking up just that front loop piece right there. We're going to draw up a loop. Okay. So keep going around. Remember to count your, uh, your chain two 
as a double crochet. So continue around. I'll meet you right there. So when you have completed that row, you will see a little ridge on the outside, and you'll see how this has lifted up. This is what we're looking for. All right? So now we're going to go into those back loops. Okay, so we, we have this right here. Those are the back loops. So we're going to take our ones we've already done and fold them down. And we're going to place two double crochets into those back loops. So here's one and two. Okay, I'm going to encourage you to count as you go around. So here we've done two. Three, four, keep counting until you get to 24. And you'll be able to see where you're going to stop at right here. And this is what we have after doing the 24 double crochets, two per 12. Okay? Now let's flip it over, and you'll see back here, if we go down, you'll see these right here. This is going to be where we're going to stick our next stitches at. So the first one we're going to do, I'm going to fold this down just a little bit. The first one will go right here. You see our last stitches here, but we're going to pull it over. The first one we're going to do is a treble. So a treble is where you wrap it twice. We're going to go into that loop. I'm going to drop a loop. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. Our next stitch is a double treble. So place your finger on your loop, on your hook, yarn over one, two, and three times. This will make our stitch just a little bit longer. We're going to go into that same hole, drop a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. You'll notice that I'm pinching this as I go along yarn over through the last two. And that'll help make it so that the tension stays correct. Okay. Then we're going to chain one. You'll see that this will be our point at the bottom. So now we're going to go in reverse. We're going to do the double treble again. So place your finger on that loop. Wrap it three times. In that same loop draw up a loop, so yarn over through those two, okay? Now I'm going to grab those bottom part of that stitch. Yarn over through two again. I'm going to reach up and grab it again. Yarn over through two, and yarn over through the last two. You notice how my loop here all stayed the same size as well. The next stitch that we're going to add in this group right here is a treble. So yarn over twice, pull up a loop, okay, and that was all for that one stitch. Into our next one, which will be this one right here, we're going to do two trebles. And sometimes it can be a little tricky. So here we go. We pulled it up. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. Let's do it one more time. All right. 
in our next stitch, which will be this one right here, we're going to place three double trebles. So wrap it three times, pick up that loop, yarn over through two, 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 and two. Okay, I'm at a point where I need to pull some more yarn out. So I'm going to pause the video. If you want to continue on, we're going to add two more double trebles to that same space. And I know you've already added yours, so I added mine as well. Into our next stitch right here, we're going to have three more double trebles. We're almost done, so let's not get angry. <laughs> I know some people uh, don't like doing these super long stitches, but you'll see in the end why we're doing them. Okay, so here's one. Here's two. And here's number three. All right. So the next stitch we have, we will do one double treble. One treble which you're going to wrap twice. One double crochet, all in the same stitch. We're going down. You can see our little heart shape. Okay. And in the same stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And in the next stitch, we're just going to do a slip stitch. Now, if we set this down, don't don't take your hook out. Just wanted to show you. Can you see the little heart shape? Okay. Now, I'd like for you to leave a long tail. We'll be using that to sew our heart down onto our purse. Alright, so we're going to shape it just a little bit. And there we go. Here we have our little heart shape. Okay. <clears throat> so, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start using our heart for the base. We're going to first take care of this magic circle, and then we're going to start here. So let's get our needle out and thread our needle, and I'll show you what to do next. Here I've threaded my needle, so we're going to go around the magic circle and pull it just a little bit tighter. Okay, now we're going to... <laughs> my battery died in my GoPro. I'm sorry. So what we've done was we weaved around, or sewn around. Now we're going to go backwards. So we're going to, um, we're going to skip over one stitch and go back the direction we came. Okay. Then we're going to do that one more time. We're going to go over one stitch and then go back the direction we came. And this will help lock it in. Okay. And then we can cut our yarn. So now our magic circle is complete. It will not come apart. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get our um, slip knot on our red and let's get started. Now we have a slip knot on our hook and you'll notice that we're looking at the back side of our heart here. And right here is all our double crochets. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting down here. We're going to do a front post double crochet. Make sure you don't grab the wrong yarn like I'm about to do. That long yarn is going to be used to sew our heart down. So we want to get it out of the way. Okay, so we're going to draw up a loop, complete our single crochet. And then we're going to pick up the next double crochet. You can see our magic circle right here. Place another single crochet. We're going to go all the way around and do 12 single crochets, front post single crochets, until you get back to here. So go ahead and go all the way around, and I'll meet you there. So after you get your 12 single crochets, we're going to slip stitch into this first one, chain two, and in the same place that we slip stitch, add one double crochet. The chain two will count as a double crochet. So in each one of these single crochets, place two double crochets for a total of 24 double crochets around. At the end of 24, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two. And we're going to cut our yarn. This little piece right here is going to be the foundation of our purse, and we will be starting our new color on it and then we'll take this and fold it down. So let's go ahead and get our next color out. Find the center of your skein, pull out some yarn, and let's get started. With our new color and a slip knot on our hook, we're gonna go into the same spot where we slip stitched closed at. And we're gonna start with a single crochet. Now this would be a good time if you choose to crochet over your tails, that would be fine. And chain one. <clears throat> In our same space, let's do one double crochet. In our next stitch, one double crochet. Now we will start our repeat for this row. The next stitch will have two double crochet. One double crochet in the next. Two double crochet. one double crochet. Repeat this around. You should end with one double crochet and you should have 36 stitches. Please pause your video. 
After we've gotten to the end of our row, we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain too. Okay, or that chain one, because we had a single crochet. So let's chain two, and in the same stitch, double crochet, and in the next two stitches, one double crochet each. This will be our repeat this row. We will do two double crochets in one, and in the next two stitches, one and one. So let's continue on. Two double crochets in one stitch, one double crochet, one double crochet. That's our repeat for this row. Continue on. I'll meet you at the end of the row. Please pause your video. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two and we're going to do it again. Chain two, double crochet in the same stitch. This time we're going to do three singles. One, two, and three. And that is our repeat. Two double crochets in the same stitch, and then three singles. One, two, three. Continue around and we'll slip stitch and I'll meet you for the next row. <laughs> All right, you ready for the next row? Let's chain two and we're going to do the same thing in the same spot. Double crochet. Okay. So the last row we did three. How many are we doing this row? <laughs> yes, that's right. We're going to be doing four. So four single double crochets. One, two, three, four. Two double crochets. In the next stitch and four singles. Continue with this around till you get to the end. Slip stitch in the top of that chain two and we will start with the same thing doing five singles. So now we're ready to move on to our um, row with five single double crochets. So we've chained two and double crocheted in the same space. Let's go ahead and do five singles. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> then two in the next stitch and five singles. Continue around and we're going to do one more row after this with six and then um, I'll show you how to do the backing. So this will be the last row of this front side of our purse. So we've chained two. We're going to double crochet in the same stitch. Now we're going to do six singles. There's one, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Our next stitch will have two, so go ahead and repeat that all the way around and slip stitch into the end and I'll meet you there. This is after I've added the six double crochets in between the two double crochets. I decided to add one row of red. So we did that for the front and for the back. So if you did yours in a solid color and choose to change it, please do so at this time. So at the end of the row, we're going to slip stitch and leave a tail and we're going to finish it off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to sew our heart down. So you want to bring your, your hook up, pull your yarn back to the back and let's get a needle on our thread. So I have threaded my needle. Now I'm going to turn it around and we're going to be starting right here in this loop area. So you want to make sure that you get it stretched out and flat. If you need pins to help hold it down, uh, I encourage that. I have a few pins right here that I could use to help hold these down to where I want to sew them down at. Okay, so that'll help right there. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is basically is a form of a running stitch. Looks like I need to bring it over just a little bit and we're going to come up from the back side in between our stitching right here. Okay. So we're going to go over the top underneath the two chains right here. And then we're going to come up like this right here. And I'm going to go back over that stitch and I'm going to come up. See, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to come up, go down here and come up here. And this will help make it look like it's also part of the stitch and give it structure as well. So we're going to go down here and come up here. You see how it holds it down nicely? So continue to go all the way around. Make sure you give your heart shape. Where you want it to stop at will be right here in this area. So that way you can have that nice little curve. Okay, go ahead and stitch it on. And I'll show you how to finish it off on the back side. So here you can see I brought the needle to the back. I'm now going to use the red yarn to weave my end in. So I brought it underneath these and pulled it through. Now I'm going to skip over one yarn and go back the other direction. And I'm going to skip over one yarn and go back the, same, the other direction again. If you go through the same hole where you came out, it will pull through and it will not lock your stitch in. So next we're going to do is we're going to make another one of these in pink um, for the backing. So let's get started on that. So we're going to start off with a magic circle. And we're going to use a chain to close it. And here we're going to chain three. One, two, three. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
this winter I've been carrying out a cold and I can't seem to kick it. Okay, so now we're going to add 11 double crochets to our magic circle. The same thing we did with the red. So continue around, make sure your count is correct, and include your chain 3 as part of your 12. Let's close our magic circle. We'll pull that string. We're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three okay we're going to chain two and in that same stitch we're going to add a double crochet this chain will also be included as a double crochet each stitch around we're going to do two double crochets when you count make sure that you have 24 double crochets and we'll slip stitch into the top of the chain at the end of the row okay so at the end we've slip stitched and chained two now I'm not going to go through each and every single solitary step but this is where we start with two double crochets, one in the next, and two in the next. Go ahead and do that as we did before, all the way up to where we have six in between. This will make it so that we have a repeat of our front side without the heart. So go ahead and do that, and um, then we'll start on our sides. Please pause your video. It will take you a little bit of time to complete this round. We're now going to be working on our sides. Uh, we're going to leave a small tail. Let's place a slip knot on our hook. We're going to chain 77. Okay, if you're wondering why we're chaining 77, let me show you really quick. We're going to be making one that goes around the outside edges. You'll notice here that I have that pinned. I'll tell you the uh, location of that here uh, soon. So let's go ahead and chain 77. Please pause your video. After we've chained our 77, we're going to skip two chains, and in the third chain, we're going to place one double crochet. Now I'm going to go under two, and we're going to do double crochet all the way down to the end of the row. So after you've completed the 75 stitches, you'll want to chain two, turn your work, and start double crocheting back the other side, doing 75 double crochets as well. You're going to continue this for four rows. So the next time I see you, you'll have four rows completed and we'll be ready to start our sides. So please pause your video. Here you can see that I have completed four rows of the 75 double crochets. Next we're going to line it up with our bag. You're going to see we're going to go around like this. Where we had the pins at before is where we're going to stop and start our double crochet. I am planning on using red to join the front and back with a single crochet. Let's get started with a slip knot on our hook. So to begin, we've already determined that our opening will be within this area right here. So I will be starting on the left hand side. I'm going to insert my hook and pick up the back the long part of the side and we're going to start with a single crochet. 
we can take our tail right here and we can include it into the sewing in of our stitching. Then we're going to go to the next one and pick up a stitch. Oops. Try not to snag your yarn from behind like I did. And we're going to do a single crochet. And we're going to continue this all the way around. So go all the way around and you will stop about here. Please pause your video. After you've made it to the end of the side piece, continue on with your single crochets to the other side where we will finish off right here. Then I will show you how to attach to the back. Be sure to weave in this end on the inside of the bag. So this is what we have so far, our opening here and our side sewn on. So what we're going to do here is line up any part of our back. And I encourage you to start it on the left side so that the stitching will be the same on the inside. So we can go ahead and start here and match all the way around to the other side. Please pause your video. So this is what our sides will look like when we attach both the front and the back. Looking good, doesn't it? So let's get started on with our strap. We're going to make one strap for this purse. Here I have a chain of 60 and I'm going to add a 1. We're going to do half double crochets continue with this all the way down to the end of the line please pause your video so here we've completed the 60 half double crochets at the last one we're going to be making more half double crochets in that last stitch to meet the curvature that we're going to need for the ends of this handbag strap. Here I've added five so far. And then we're going to go ahead and go down to our next stitching and continue on till we get to the other end. So continue all the way down here. At the end, we're going to be adding extra stitching to meet the curvature. Then we will chain three and do another row all the way around. So complete these two rows and, and then we will be ready to sew our strap onto our handbag. Please also note that if you choose to make this strap longer, you just have to add more chains to the beginning of the foundation. So here you can see I have finished my handle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it up. We're going to leave about half of a finger's length. Oh, I just noticed that. Look at all my yarn. <laughs> okay, leave it for half of finger's length right here. And what we will be doing with that is applying it to the side of our bag right here. So we're going to fold it that way and we're going to stitch with our needle all the way down to the other end right here. So go ahead and either you can do a slip stitch with your crochet hook or you can do a whip stitch with your um, needle. Please pause your video. So here you can see I have completed my strap. I left some extra yarn. Now I'm going to take this piece right here. 
and on my bag I'll lay it out flat and stitch around the circle and I'm going to do it to the other side as well so I encourage you to do that and then you have completed your bag so after we've sewn on our straps our handle on both sides this is what we have I really like this bag it's very festive especially for the Valentine season I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you come back for another one I appreciate having you here I hope you learned something from this so until next time bye bye